couple of weeks ago, I did a video, a complete walkthrough video on this camera, the Mamiya C220 twin lens reflex camera. And it's been a very well received video, but I noticed on the analytics, people kept going back and watching the specific part and how to load film into this camera. So we're gonna demonstrate that today, specifically how to load film into this Mamiya C220, but it's the same technique and the same way you load 120 film into almost any film medium format camera. So let's get right to it. This again is the Mamiya C220. Oh, I wanna give a real shout out real quick to its Forrester who make these lens caps, because this came my way with no lens caps, they were missing, and they do a 3D printed lens cap that is absolutely perfect for these. Um, I grabbed this guy off eBay, I've got no connection to them whatsoever other than I am ecstatic to have a perfectly fitting lens cap for this twin lens reflex camera. So let's get right to it. The camera itself is gonna open up from the back with this lever right here, and we've got an arrow, and we simply slide that to the side, and the whole back is gonna pop right open. 120 film is a spool film, so it works from having the film go from one spool to another spool. So this is the spool from the last roll of film I ran, so we have to move that spool from where it is to where it needs to be. So we simply pull this lever so it pops open and stays open. Up here, we've got the lever here, there's little slots, and this has like little gears to go in. So we just line that up, make sure it's lined up, drop it in. Now when I crank the film, you can see this will turn and these slots will turn. What we're gonna load in the camera today, again, is a roll of Fomapan. I love this retro style boxes that they came out with. We're gonna load this roll of Fomapan, it's Fomapan 200 into the camera. So again, we open up our roll of 120 film. It's packaged in a foil package to keep it safe and fresh. We simply open this up and then the film is on a spool. It's got this where it's taped right here to hold it closed. I'm simply gonna use my fingers to tear this to get that off and then I fold that out and then there's a tab that's right there. So again, just like before, we are going to insert this film. This time there's no gears because, or no um, tabs to hold the film steady because it is simply gonna roll, it's gonna freewheel off this bottom. So we put this side in right here, and again, push it down a little bit, turn this, that releases, and then bang, it locks right in right there. Now that film is locked in. So I start pulling this out, this tab out, and it's gonna go over, and again, this is our film size, this is a six by six centimeter or two and a quarter inches square camera. And again, it pretty much doesn't matter if it's a 6.45 or a 6.7 or a 6.6 or a 6.8 or a 6.9, they're all pretty much gonna load the same way. I get this to where I can see my main slot right here in the center and then push this tab. Let me make sure that I'm not blocking the camera above. Push this tab right into here and then start cranking the film, making sure that that's lined up. So you don't need to do anything else other than that to make sure that that film is in there. Believe me, that tab is gonna hold that film once it's in that slot perfectly, very securely. You don't need to do anything else. So we're gonna start winding this, and as you notice, hopefully it shows up in the camera, there's a red dot on either side. There's one here and one here. And as I roll this, there's gonna be arrows that appear and we turn it until it points right at these dots. So let's turn this. And we go along, that's the paper leader. Here's our arrow right here, right here. And then it's gonna come up. We're gonna crank this till it points right at those dots. And that's our starting position. This camera, I do have to make sure that the back plate is set to 120 and not to 220. On, again, on this camera, and the reason for that is 120 film has this paper backing, 220 film has a paper leader that is taped to the front and the back of that end, or it's a leader and a tail on that roll of film. Because of that, the film is thinner because it, it's not film plus a paper backing, it's just film. So this back, in order for that camera to focus properly, needs to be set differently. That's there's these little rails right here that the film will run on, as opposed to this way where it doesn't have that. So let's close the back, 
And again, almost every 120 camera or medium format camera is going to work the same. That as long as it doesn't have interchangeable backs, they load a little bit different than this. But we're going to close this back and it'll click and secure. You can hear that. And then in this case, we turn this lever and it locks so that we cannot advance the film or we can't accidentally open this up and expose all the film. Again, we have our wind lever. On this camera, again, I have to make sure I'm set to 120 film here, not 220. Make sure it's set to 120 so my counter works and is correct. My counter is at zero right now as I need it to be. To make it easier, I'm gonna fold this crank out and we're gonna crank it and this continues on. In fact, let me see if I can do it this way and then maybe you can see this from the camera above and where there's dots that are there and dots until we get to where the number one is going to be there and then the camera mechanism will stop and the film is ready and is loaded in there right now. Here is a roll of exposed 120 film and in fact it's the roll that I loaded in the camera on the previous video where I did the entire walkthrough on this camera and again there's a couple shots of the cats and some of the uh, the neighbor's house and a bicycle seat and different things but this tape is right where that film starts. That's taped to the paper backing. The leader was in front of this, and then this rolled through and up and through the camera this way. And of course, if you notice, it's upside down because of course it, the camera shoots upside down. Our brain corrects right side up and upside down. So then these all ran through. There's my 12 shots all the way through on this roll of foam pan, and then we developed it. That's it, really simple. Easy to load, easy to operate. Um, what a dream piece of machinery to use. These vintage cameras, one of my favorites. You know, that's why I guess I'm Vintage Jim, um, is I just love, I love working with stuff like this. And again, I wanna thank you for stopping by. Hopefully you learned something today. And maybe you can watch the, the complete length video where I have the whole intro, kind of my tribute to these cameras in this era. That's uh, just was a really fun video to make. I really had a great time. I'm James Fisher, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you again.